Shalom brothers, welcome to uh, Myth Destroyers, this is a war. First and foremost, I'll praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double, others, double honors to the elders. And basically, what well, it's about 3 a.m. doing a little reading. And, um, you know, I just got this new Bible. And basically, it's uh, it lets you know in this Bible... It goes through like brief history of the Bible in the beginning. And there's a lot of uh, boneheads out there who basically like to say that the Lord came for everybody and that they was talking to everybody. But even Esau and the scholars, which we've been telling you, which is a complete giveaway. But, you know, I'm about to show more proof that... They already know who the apostles was coming for, man. They already knew. So, uh, all right, uh, check it out. In this book here, it says <clears throat> the New Testament. The books of the New Testament were all written in single in a single century. They were done by men who for the for the most part came from lowly walks of life but had the distinction of giving inspired accounts of the life of Yahweh and of expounding Yahweh's teachings. Although the disciples of Yahweh spoke Aramaic, which is basically Hebrew, they also spoke Greek, which was the commercial language throughout much of the Roman Empire. It was a coin or common Greek, and in this language, the New Testament was first written. So, in, so so important was Greek in the period between the two testaments and following the conquest of Alexander the Great that many Jews outside of Palestine knew no other tongue. So, I'll just keep going and finish it off. As a consequence, the Old Testament was translated into Korn beginning in the 3rd century B.C. in a version often referred to and called the Septuagint. Okay, the Septuagint is B.S., but basically it was a point made here. They say, so important was Greek in the period between the two testaments and following the conquest of Alexander the Great that many Jews outside of Palestine knew no other tongue. All right, so that goes to show you that those um that basically <laughs> their whole the disciples they basically said the disciples came to speak for the to talk to the Jews and only the Jews. Why? Because that was the commercial language. Just like in America. What's the commercial language? English. All because we know a little bit of uh of, of the Lashawan Kodash don't mean that we're gonna go out there speaking Hebrew to them, you know. We're not gonna come out there breaking Revelation thirteen down to somebody who don't even know that they are Israelite, you know. So, yeah, that's all I basically had to show. Just a little short video for the just further proof that this is the truth and that the Lord is only dealing with the elect of Israel and only Israel. And that you and you boneheads out there teaching that madness, you're a bunch of clowns. All right. You're a bunch of clowns and you don't want. And you don't want America to go down. Well, America is going down, all right? America will go down, and you won't stop it. And Esau won't stop it. 
And none of your, your flunkies out there teaching that madness will stop it either. All right. And with that, Yahabashim, Yahabashim, Rock Thumb. Shalom, bros.